Hey guys, what's going on and welcome to another video. Today we are going to talk about fitness photography and how you can prepare yourself for the first fitness photo shoot. We are going to go over points like lighting, model, location, clothing and everything else. This video is just not limited to photographers but there are also some points about models or athletes who are going for their first fitness photo shoot. So without delay, let's dive in. So here are the five things that you need to prepare to start out with your fitness photo shoot. Number one being the most important is actually to find your athlete or your fitness model. So how do you search your fitness athlete or model? So first select the kind of sports you want to go for. So I selected bodybuilding. So in the Instagram go and search uh, your location and bodybuilding, location and fitness, location and fitness model. So these are the various keywords you can use. Next, you can actually ask people around. Yeah, people you might have worked with, people you might have like worked for something else. They might know someone. And finally, you can also check out the local Facebook groups. Every uh, location has a Facebook group dedicated to modeling, photography, fitness, and all this. So check those out, search them out, and probably put out a post that, hey, if someone is willing to work with me and do a photo shoot, please hit me up. Additionally, you, you wanna find someone who is on season and not off season, which means that someone who is close to their show or game or match based on the kind of sports you select. So I was working with Hope Castelli and she was just four weeks away from her show and I did two shoots. One was four weeks away from her show and another was two weeks away from her show. So once you have found your athlete or your fitness model, the most important thing for a photographer, which is the second point, is your lighting. Um, you cannot get away with just one light for fitness shoots. You at least need two sources of light. So I generally like to use two flashes, but also I sometimes go three sources of light where my third light is just sunlight or some other light, window light. So the reason behind two lights is because you want to show the shape of the fitness model because they have muscles behind and they have muscles in the front. So I'm going to show you four lighting conditions. So number one is I really like to place my lights right opposite to each other that is at 45 degrees to my subject and one at the behind and one at front what it does it actually gives me a kicker which shows the lining from behind like probably the arms and shoulders and then there is the key light which is also placed at an angle that creates the shadow over the mass overgrown muscles that gives a better texture and a better feature expression for the muscles and shows the exact shape of the hat. So my second way of lighting is I like to use the sun as a hair light or a background light and then I'll have two lights facing my subject from two sides. This creates like a triangle and it really creates a great separation from the background and also the two lights that you have in front of you, the flashes really gives the highlights to all the muscles she has. Now you can see over here, you can also use this to your advantage to create some theme over here. Like here, I kind of added some smoke and it kind of really goes with the overall look. Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm here in this American Iron Gym kind of doing a photo shoot. I have two lights up there. One is the Octobox and then another over there, which is the strip box. So we are gonna shoot and I'm gonna show you the BTS of that. Finally, this is the most tricky lighting, which is in front of the mirror shoots. There are so many gym shoots where you will see the lifter or your model is in front of the mirror. They're doing something. Lighting this situation is very difficult. So this is how I like to do it is you have to really frame your subject and stand at an angle. Like I'm standing up here somewhere at the corner and then I have two lights which are facing the my subject but they are not actually looking at the mirror even though they're right next to the mirror they're kind of facing the subject in this way i do not get mirror reflection 
and because I have a tight framing of my subject, I do not get any reflection within my camera. So once you have figured out your model and your lighting, the next thing is actually to figure out your location. If you are probably a photographer who is probably shooting a fitness photo shoot, you do not have access to the gyms uh, where they will allow you to go and take a shoot. So there are two ways you can do. You can do an outdoor photo shoot or you can just request your fitness model who might be already working over there or might know a lot of people because they have been doing it for some time and ask them to probably give you an access. Generally, for me, it works around in the afternoons on the weekends when there is no one else and I can use the gym to shoot something. But it's totally up to you. But in this case, I just want to show you in my shoot that in the outdoor, uh, it all depends on what theme you're going for. If you're going for uh, showing the outfit or if you're going for showing the physique, it all depends on what kind of environment you're looking at and also it uh, the what kind of team you are going for here i wanted to go for a very worked out uh, warehouse kind of uh, mysterious kind of look and also a little bit old and uh, lighting kind of uh, theme over there so i chose over this but on this shoot i was totally focusing on the workout and that's why i shot in the gym and it's all about what she is doing within the gym number four point is your clothing just like any photo shoot, I like to choose my clothing based on the location and generally it is contrasting to your lo uh, location. So if my walls are white, just like here, my walls are, my background is blue color, so I'm wearing white. So, uh, similarly over here, this, uh, all the walls are kind of like greenish or brown or something. So I really want her to wear something like red or black or something that is really bright and actually against a darker background it will kind of pop um, in the gym or in any places if you're thinking of doing a black and white uh, coloring then you would want your model to wear black and white actually because that's what is going to really highlight ideally you want to put white on the top and black in the bottom but it's there is no hard and fast rule it's just out of my thought that that's what actually will pop up a lot but you can do the other way around or you can even take other colors which are bright and dark finally the fifth or another very important point is how you pose your model it is always a good idea to engage with some props like dumbbells ropes or other things that actually goes with the theme as you can see in these two shots um, there it's all about how these people are posed over there and it's always like in a diagonal line from here to here and here and from the hand to the waist so it is kind of like really creating that curve and the posture and the shape of the person but also it takes up the entire frame kind of make them look tall and big if you found those points interesting and want to read about them in details i've written a blog on that in my website i'm going to leave a link in the description please feel free to go and check out that said if you found this video useful and those points to your photo shoot please hit the thumbs up button and let me know in the comments that what you thought about them and what you did in your photo shoot Finally, I'll be dropping more videos on uh, editing and photography and other things. So hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you know when the next video is dropping. Until then, take care. Have a good time with your family. This is a holiday season and I'll see you in the next video.